Hey there, plant lovers, Nora the Lekker Queen here. Welcome to my green sanctuary. Today, I'm transforming my cane begonia, my begonia white ice with a simple yet revolutionary tool, the plant trellis. Meet my begonia white ice, currently looking a little bit like a lanky teenager who's just hit a growth spurt. Tall, a bit awkward, and definitely in need of a style revamp. Much like guiding a teen through the trials of adolescence, I'm here to nurture and shape this plant. I'm not just aiming for growth, I'm aiming for transformation. My goal? To turn this spindly adolescence of a plant into a poised mature adult. Think of it as a journey from awkward high school days to a confident, well-rounded adulthood, but in the plant world. In my toolkit today, I've assembled a few key items that are essential for this begonia makeover. First, there's the fan trellis. Acting as the backbone of this entire project, it's not just a support structure. It's like the scaffolding that will guide and shape my begonia as it grows. Then there's the nursery pot, a new home for my plant where it can comfortably spread its roots. It's like moving into a spacious, well-lit apartment giving the plant ample room to thrive. And finally, the stars of the show, Begonia White Ice Propagated Cuttings. These little guys are game changers. I'm going to pop them into the pot to really amp up the volume. By planting these cuttings, I'll turn a sparse looking plant into a lush, voluminous spectacle, much like fluffing up a pillow to make it plump and inviting. The first thing I'm going to do is actually take my plant out of the pot that it's been living in. So just take that out of that. This is my begonia white ice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And that's what my plant looks like. There's actually two plants in that, so two stems over there. I basically am going to take this trellis off because we are not going to use that anymore because we've got our lovely fan trellis at the moment. That is what my plant is going to go on. So those are the little Velcro plant ties that I was using for my plant, which I don't need anymore. That is the aluminium wire that I use for making my trellises. This is a complete, by the way, I make these DIY trellises with this aluminium wire. If you haven't seen how I do that, just click on the link above and that'll take you to it. But I just wanted to show you how, look how there is actually no rust on that wire because I get a lot of people asking me that question. But yeah, look at it. It looks absolutely fantastic. Anywho, that is my begonia white ice here. I am not going to separate these roots there. I am not going to do that. I'll leave those alone. This is the pot that I'm going to put my plant in and this is the trellis. Now what I want to do is actually attach this trellis to my pot so there's actually no movement at all with that. And as, as I was getting my pot ready for repotting my plant, I've actually made my little ventilation holes in my nursery pot that I use. I use my soldering iron to do that, but I also created some additional holes at the top over there and these are the holes that I'm going to put my cable ties through to hold my trellis. So all right then I'll put this one there that one there Okay, the other thing, the other thing you guys must realize is it is so hot and humid in Melbourne right now. And I am standing here sweating buckets. And there's just no way of getting this sweat off my face. So if it's offending you, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about that because it's a little bit hot in Melbourne. It's actually not even hot. It's just, it's just... It's insane. That's what it is. I have my trellis attached to my nursery pot at two points at the top. Now, it's still, when I let that go, it's still wonky at the bottom. You can see it shifting there. So I want it to stay steady at the bottom as well. So I've got some longer cable ties that I'm running through there. And hopefully they are going to work to keep my trellis in place. I hope. I don't know if it's going to work. 
But, you know, all a girl can do is try. Okay, that looks better. At least that's not moving. Alrighty, I have attached my trellis to my nursery pot and I think I'm happy with that. So I've got a cable tie at the bottom, in the middle, and some cable ties at the top. Okay, now that I got that sorted, I'll just clip off the excess bits of cable tie. Okay, they've all just flown off. That is good. If you're finding this video valuable, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Right, I need to put a little bit of lecker at the bottom of that pot. Oh yay! And now that I've done that, that stands up rather nicely! Yay! I did not think that was going to happen, so well done me! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, I have, these are my begonia white ice cuttings. I have three cuttings. And look at all those roots that are formed on there. These have been water propagating. I cut them off this, this one plant as well. So those have gone really, really nicely. They've propagated very well. And it's got some new leaves on there as well. So that's doing absolutely brilliantly. But I think before I put in my cuttings, I kind of want to see where these are going to go because I can't separate them. Ah, uh, so I'm just going to have to sort of put them here. I think it has to go in this direction. There's a directional thing as well because there's a back and there's a front. So that goes there. I'm happy with that. So I think these can go on the edges, which is really good because then I'll have the tiny new plants to go right in the middle. That's good. That's good. Okay. Right. Okay. So I have some little plant clips that I'm going to use to clip the plant to the trellis instead of using my little Velcro plant ties. You can use the Velcro plant ties as well, but I've got these, so I'm going to use them because it's so much easier than using the plant ties, or at least that's what the theory is. Yes, no, the practice is also that it is so much easier. So all I do is just get my little clip, Get that open and clip that to the plant and to the trellis. I want this one to go to this end. Telling you this this is not the easiest thing to do. Okay, I want to tell you something right now that's really bothering me. When I bought this trellis, I thought I would have a lot more room. But as things stand, my plant is already at the top. I am not happy. Um, yeah, I'm not happy at all. So I don't know if I can get a, a trellis that's longer than this because it took me a long time to find even this one. I might have to actually have something custom made. I don't know if I can, but so far I am loving the look on this. How gorgeous does this look? Just even just now, you know, I haven't even put the cuttings in and it looks so fantastic. That looks really, really good. So that cutting, I'm trying to make sure that the cutting actually goes inside the pot. See, that one will sit there. Oh, there's that cutting. Gosh, how magnificent does this look? This one will go here. Oops. And again, just always trying to make sure that those leaves are facing the right direction. Because direction is really, really important. And here's the last one. And that goes right there in the middle. Right down there into the bottom. And oh, 
Voila! That's my cuttings in my plant pot. And I'll just attach, continue to attach the propagations to the trellis. Oh, now that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Now that I've done this, all I need to do now is just fill that pot up with lecker and it'll be done. But before I do that, this is my ceramic pot. It doesn't have a hole in it. That's what's going to be my reservoir for this plant. It's actually glazed on the inside, so it should be good to hold liquid. And plonk that in there and voila! I am loving that. So I've got my lecker here and I just fill that pot up with a lecker. Okay, that was not the plan. That, that was not the plan. The plan was not to spill my lecker on the ground. But there you go. Okay. Making sure I get lecker in at the back as well. And that is it. That's my plant potted up with all the cuttings attached and they will start to grow and attach. And as they grow, I'll be attaching the cuttings to that trellis and it is going to be a magical, magical begonia white ice display. But before I go, I'm going to fill this reservoir up with my Clonix Clone Solution and Root Zone Mixture. And I like to call that my special source. So I'm going to use my special source for the next two weeks. And that's only because, oh, that looks good. So I'll use my special source for two weeks only because I've got my cuttings in there. I've disturbed my roots. I want that root health to go back to what it was, more roots to grow. And after that two week mark, I'm going to start using foliage focus. And I'm going to give this plant a fair bit of light as well, because as you can see, the leaves used to be quite big. This plant used to get a lot of light. And then when I cut it and propagated it, I moved it to a different location. You can see those leaves started getting a little bit smaller. So I really want to encourage those leaves to get bigger. And as it fills up this trellis, it is just going to be a masterpiece. If you found this video valuable, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out how I propagate my begonia white ice in this next video. I'll see you there.